Good morning, Faith Bible family. Welcome to week 24 of our Psalms on the Porch series. And today we're going to look at Psalm 80. It's another one of those psalms that is calling out for God to restore Israel after the exile. And there's an image in this psalm that is used many times in the New Testament that I want to look at a little closer this morning. So we're in Psalm 80. Let's go ahead and read it together. Listen, shepherd, Israel's shepherd, get all your Joseph sheep together. Throw beams of light from your dazzling throne so Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh can see where they're going. Get out of bed. You've slept long enough. Come on the run before it's too late. God, come back. Smile your blessing smile. That will be our salvation. God, God of the angel armies, how long will you smolder like a sleeping volcano while your people call for fire and brimstone? You put us on a diet of tears, bucket after bucket of salty tears to drink. You make us look ridiculous to our friends. Our enemies poke fun day after day. God, of the angel armies, come back. Smile your blessing smile. That will be our salvation. Remember how you brought a young vine from Egypt, cleared out the brambles and the briars, and planted your very own vineyard? You prepared the good earth and planted her roots deep. The vineyard filled the land. Your vine soared high and shaded the mountains, even dwarfing the giant cedars. Your vine ranged west to the sea, east to the river. So why do you no longer protect your vine? Trespassers pick its grapes at will. Wild pigs crash through and crush it, and the mice nibble away at what's left. God of the angel armies, turn our way. Take a good look at what's happened and attend to this vine. Care for what you once tenderly planted, the vine you raised from a shoot. And those who dared to set it on fire, give them a look that will kill. Then take the hand of your once favorite child, the child you raised to adulthood. We will never turn our back on you. Breathe life into our lungs so that we can shout your name. God, God of the angel armies, come back. Smile your blessing smile. That will be our salvation. This psalm, like many of the other psalms around it, retells the story of Israel. But this time, when the psalmist retells the story, he uses a metaphor to stand in for Israel. Verses 8 through 18 are the heart of the psalm, and it's a song about a vine. A vine that God found originally planted in Egypt, but then he transplanted it to a vineyard in his own country. The psalmist says that this is exactly what the Exodus was. God brought Israel out of Egypt and took her to her own country, clearing the ground for them, removing the nations that were already there, and planting them. And they thrived for a while in that country, spreading out between the sea and the river. But then the exile came because of Israel's sin. And it was like the walls had come down, and the wild animals were allowed to come in and to eat the grapes and trample and destroy the vineyard. So now the psalmist calls out to God to restore what he originally planted. It's a fascinating image. But what makes it even more important for us is that we know how God responded to the psalm's call. Jesus is the answer to the psalmist's prayer in this psalm. Maybe this will be a little bit more obvious in the NIV's translation of verses 15 and 17. Watch over this vine, the son that you have raised up for yourself. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. In John chapter 15, Jesus says that he is the true vine, the fulfillment of Israel's hope and the promise of her restoration. And those of us who attach ourselves to him then are the branches that bear fruit, grafted into God's blessing, into God's people. And now the refrain of this psalm has come true for us. God has come back and has smiled his blessing smile upon us in Christ. So God bless you this week. We'll see you Sunday at 1015.